Hello, I'm Adam and this is 9bot F2 Pro and as you can see there is additional battery pack and uh, yeah, in this video I will talk about additional battery in this model but uh, this one will be slightly different because as you remember from my previous video videos I was doing uh, batteries uh, by increasing the total voltage so by uh, adding additional pack in series but uh, this time we will do uh, we'll add uh, this battery pack to uh, the main battery uh, in parallel connection so plus to plus minus to minus and uh, generally I just want to show you idea how I did that and uh, yeah it might be helpful because uh, yeah how to build a battery I did it a few times it's no need to show but I want to give you a complete uh, solution for that and uh, I will discuss about uh, problems that you can uh, meet problems that can occur so uh, going inside the back we can see the battery and this is a 10s 3p uh, battery pack and uh, it has uh, it's built with the ev 50e uh, cells so 5000 milliamp hours each and output uh, up to 15 amps continuous and uh, yeah i've got uh, three uh, p that means i've got there 15000 milliamp hour and uh, combining it with the with the uh, build battery we've got like uh, 15000 plus uh, 12400 so <laughs> generally we doubled the battery size yeah that's what i would expect expect the double range uh, and uh, this came, uh, there is um, a BMS, uh, this time I went with Ant uh, BMS and to be honest they are as great as JK BMS, so I would summarize if you can fit JK BMS but Ant doesn't fit, go for JK BMS, it will be very fine, but uh, if you've got space for the Ant BMS, you can go for Ant BMS and those are great. I mean those are working, the batteries are balanced and uh, yeah, it doesn't drain battery as my JK BMS. Maybe my JK BMS was faulty, not sure, but those doesn't drain the battery and uh, yeah, those working amazingly. Yeah? Uh, to be more specific there, I've got very basic but smart uh, BMS, 40 amps, because yeah, the scooter won't want uh, output on the stock uh, controller more than uh, I hope 30 amps, 35 maybe, we will see how will the temperatures be uh, but anyway uh, the amperage will be split between two batteries so uh, yeah 40 amps uh, is very very okay yeah and uh, okay so that's how it looks like uh, this battery I will zip tie uh, to the a column because uh, yeah, as we can see those are uh, this battery is pretty loose so the plan is to use zip ties to uh, catch it like this to the column and uh, it won't move for sure and uh, yeah I 3d printed the uh, mounts as you can see and uh, the cablings that's how those looks like Of course there is a zip tie inside so it won't move and of course it's zip tied to uh, the brakes and yeah nothing fancy. Uh, there is a, a charging port for the uh, charging as yeah, the standard jack like this there I've got <laughs> and there as we can see I've got uh, the XT60 port uh, so the plan is that I will just connect it uh, there and yeah it will work okay uh, but before that um, just one downside of adding the battery uh, that high uh, you can feel it on the steering wheel but that's not really bad but the thing is that I think I need to uh, lift my uh, uh, feet a little bit 
like maybe there because as you can see it almost yeah you, you, as you can see it it balances very well but slight touch and it got uh, yeah and it falls so uh, I think another modification that will be there is uh, making a distance like half centimeter or one, or one centimeter to the uh, feet yeah and now I will show you a solution for parallel connection uh, so starting from the top there will be a XT60 uh, socket and uh, there comes a cable and it goes to uh, controller and it goes to the battery and yeah as you can see there is the controller there is the battery and the plan is that it will somehow will fit there yeah that's how it will work of course i will insulate the <laughs> this uh, tin and yeah that's how i think it will work Okay, and now let's talk about connecting the battery because, as you may know, batteries need to be in same voltage to be connected without any problems as much as possible. So let me take a multimeter and let's see what's the voltage. And I put it on auto hold, but maybe I can do it one hand and show you, but don't spark please. Okay, there we can see 40.85 volts and now on the, uh, I need two, two hands and uh, on my additional battery I've got 40, let's say 0.8 volt, so it's like uh, 500 uh, less, uh, well I will think if I will charge it for like more like i don't know three more minutes or something to let it equal but anyway uh, yeah i think that that's the maximum uh, difference uh, that i would allow to connect and uh, it won't be uh, so dangerous but of course I, I will anyway connect it for like three minutes to make sure that those are aligned as much as they could but i want to talk about on other things like how big the battery, the additional battery can be? Because uh, why I choose uh, 15,000 15, milliamp hours? Because uh, the, uh, the answer is internal resistance. And uh, what does it mean? I mean, if we've got two batteries, and uh, I will measure the internal resistance of them using this tool, but one moment I will need to... Okay, I have measured the, uh, the internal uh, original uh, battery at this point has, 80, uh, has uh, 63 milliohms of resistance and now uh, I will measure the uh, additional battery, but please don't spark. Wow! It's great. I've got uh, 63 milliohms uh, resistance. So that means I'm very, very close uh, to those. And uh, what's the internal resistance of the batteries? Even if the difference is small, uh, anyway, there can be a problem. For example, if we want to draw 20 amps. In ideal world, if uh, both batteries are exactly the same, uh, milliohms resistance uh, so we've got two batteries 20 amps each battery will uh, give out uh, 10 amps yeah that's very simple uh, but if we've got uh, different uh, internal resistances those differ uh, we can have situation like from this battery we will drain for example 13 amps and from the second battery we will draw only 7 amps and that's not healthy that's how i would summarize that yeah uh, so that's why i went for the big battery so the internal resistances are very very close and uh, you may ask uh, what will happen with uh, if i add just only maybe one bank uh, so uh, 10s 1p 
First of all, we will have only 15 amps uh, of the current of the additional battery and its resistance will be I would say even bigger uh, because uh, in this case we connected uh, batteries so the internal resistance divided and we could have situation where like uh, if we will draw again 20 amps for example uh, like 16 amps will draw from the main battery and only four from the uh, additional battery and uh, yeah it will be uneven it will be unhealthy because in real the additional battery will, will charge the battery that is in the scooter yeah so that's that's not expected i mean that's that's not the way that you should go and uh, okay so uh, i've got like a 0.05 uh, volt difference i will charge it quickly and uh, yeah we will see what it will give us in the meantime we are waiting for the battery voltage to drop uh, after charging I can talk about uh, scooter hacking and what we can what we've got there uh, in uh, parallel connection we've got same voltage than s but we can we've got like twice more amps that we can deliver that means we can give really nice amount of more amps to be assigned uh, on controller to motor but of course we need to be aware of temperatures and that's it <laughs> yes we need to monitor temperatures because uh, i heard that those new generation uh, controllers are mm, are yeah just enough for the stock and yeah we'll see how it will go but uh, i'm about to set it there like I think there is the 25 uh, stock, 30 uh, amps, 32. I will just see how it will work. Yeah, so uh, the general rule is if you can hold your uh, fingers like this for more than five seconds on the motor, it's fine. If it's too hot, so you won't last more than five seconds, you need to lower your settings and that's it i was giving on my stock g30 motor over 3000 watts and yeah that's the rule how you should go okay let me verify the additional battery voltage build battery is like 40.85 and we are waiting for that One moment yeah just very 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 little it's 100 volt i think we can plug it and it won't spark or anything uh, okay so uh, i can talk about wirings uh, in this case i've got uh, 10 uh, awg and uh, that's for the main output and i've got length let's say about 70 centimeters or something okay let's connect those batteries and that should go like this and a spark or something deadly quiet <laughs> yes uh, okay and what can now happen now if we turn on the scooter it might detect that we are charging it not in this case because it's scooter hacking but uh, you need to be aware of that if you uh, connect two batteries scooter can detect it's at charging so you need to disable in scooter hacking option that uh, allows you to write during charging and yeah that's how it looks like uh, yeah that's how it looks like to be honest uh, that's not ideal uh, how the cable goes but maybe yeah maybe it will be yeah looks better and yeah and now if we move the column everything is fine one very important thing to know i have fully charged both batteries and <laughs> what we've got uh, 
if I use the original uh, charging port, I'm able to fully charge the internal battery and uh, the additional battery. So that's fine. But if I wanted to use both ports, so the original one and the additional one that I created, there is a way to bypass uh, BMS. So if I connect that, one moment. yeah, as you can see, it's charging, but the battery is already full. That means if I'm using the terminals that are the outputs of the original battery, because that's where those connect, I can bypass a BMS uh, standard charging port and unfortunately that can lead to overcharging and fire. Yes, so uh, generally what you could do. Even you don't need additional battery charging port because it will be useless and can lead to some dangerous situation. Use only the uh, built one and yeah. Unfortunately, but it is how it is. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and hit the subscribe button. Bye.